what's going on y'all it's your boy here smitty welcome back to the channel glad you could join me uh today we're starting the 4l 80 e build i know some of you have probably been waiting a while for this it may and may not have anything to do with a third gen but you know some guys put them in there they do make the kits for them so got our case all here all nice and pretty and cleaned up and and uh, ready to go looking all sharp and everything get the base all cleaned up everything's ready to go got our our kit got our front band I still need the rear band it's on its way got our molded piston kit uh, I always recommend replacing these um, this one needed an internal wiring harness because this little piece right here was missing and so it causes it to leak but it leaked anyway leaked something fierce these are dependent on the year somewhere around 04 to 05 they changed the internal harness and it is different um we have the rear uh case bushing update which is the no walk bushing and it comes with a needle bearing instead of the thrust washer so that holds your output carrier in this is a good upgrade this is a sonex kit and you can see the part number right there and this isn't sponsored by the way got all of our bushings which we'll need to do the bushings on it make sure those are all up to snuff got a filter kit got our thrust washers, your plastics, and your brass. Um, we got, and I keep forgetting what this is. Oh, that's the thrust bearing kit. I'll show you what that is real quick. Get it out of the box. A couple different thrust bearings. That's actually a bearing and a thrust washer and i don't know if you'll be able to see the rest of it well the rest of it's in the bag so but still it's there i like these shift correction kits these work very well on the 4l80s um, had good luck with uh, superior kits in the past so i prefer to use these um, got your overhaul kit which on an overhaul kit there isn't much to it basically it's just your uh, paper and rubbers <laughs> it didn't sound very good and then get the the fiber kit and these are all your clutches and what you don't see here are the steel kit uh, when I ordered it they were back ordered on the steel kit and that's coming so I do like the Borg Warner kits now this is this is gonna be so you know factory upgrade factory rebuild with some upgrades um, but then again I've never had any trouble with the Borg Warner clutches I mean that's what they use in all the transmissions they hold up for a long time it's usually a pressure issue which I can't stress enough y'all the, the number one main thing that you need to pay attention when you do an automatic transmission is you have to make sure your pump is correct uh, that's the lifeblood that's like a heart for yourself without a heart you're dead same thing with the transmission it's got to have a heart to be able to to make everything work so take some extra time make sure your pump is correct take your measurements make sure all the clearances are where they need to be so you have a good long long life transmission and try to be as clean as you can um, when I'm not working on one of these transmissions I cover them up and everything gets stored in boxes to keep dirt and debris and all that stuff out and all that all that boxes all the 4L80 stuff that is a junk pile so don't get any ideas well you got all that stuff out no that's just because that's trash it's metal my metal bucket is so I need to empty the metal bucket. And of course, the transfer case, 
we showed you that in another video and that was just done. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to start building this dude. Hope you're ready for the, for the ride. What I'm gonna try to do is, what I'll probably do is I'll record all of this at once. Well, I'll actually record it in sessions. That way if there's a session that you wanna go back and go over something, you can just pull up that video and look at that instead of having to go through hours of video to find what you need. Because I don't care what you can, you can't do one of these transmissions correctly if you just blaze through it. Somebody's gonna want, so what did he do there? And I want to try to explain it to you the best that I know how. Um, here's a disclaimer for you. Everybody has a different way to do things. Some things are the same, some things are different. This is just my version of it. So before you get out there and criticize something or think about it, this is how I've done it in the past, this is how I've learned it, okay? With that being said, let's get going on this thing. Oh, hey, if you like the content, make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you get all the latest updates. Uh, smash that like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. I do read the comments and I do respond to them. So with that being said, I'm gonna get you set up on a tripod and let's get going with this dude. Okay, here we go. All right, y'all, so the, uh, we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock this rear Sonic's no walk case bushing in, which is this little kit here. And we're actually not gonna knock it in, we're actually gonna press it in. So here's the bushing, and I've got these aluminum sleeves and it just so happens to be the exact size of the outside of that bushing and we can use this push plate on the bottom side of it and we can actually tighten up that uh, bolt there and it'll walk it in the case so that's what we're going to do okay so you can halfway see what I'm going to do I'll show you here before I set it up go ahead and put this uh, bushing in the case kind of hard to do this one-handed and hold the camera All right, so we'll just get it set in there. Take, put this in through. Slide our spacer on the top.
Okay, so you can see what I've started here. See, I've got it pressed on that deal there. So all I really got to do is tighten it up, and it'll pull that bushing in. just like that. And if you see there, it's pressed all the way down in there. And that's what it looks like from that side. And that's all there is to it. And what you do is you put your shims down that they supply with it. And then your... Uh, needle rolling bearing goes on top of it and you'll take and adjust your your end play accordingly it says right here end play for a 4L80E is 5 to 25 thousandths or 5 10 thousandths to 25 thousandths you know what I mean anyway so there you go so that's going to end it for this video we did the case bushing. Yeah, it takes a little time. So if you like what you're seeing, make sure and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And we'll do something else on this dude. Get the thing together. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Hit that notification bell. Uh, like and share with your friends. Uh, leave me a comment. I'll read it. And uh, with that being said, be good to each other. Be good to yourself. God bless you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.